Nonprofits have been some of the hardest hit by the pandemic, and if you've visited Balboa Park lately, you know it's pretty apparent. Museums are now closing once again, something they've been dealing with on and off again since March. Yeah, it's really hurting them financially too, but one museum has found a really unique way to raise some cash. Ashley Matthews has a look at that this morning. Hopefully, crossing our fingers, it'll help them keep some of their staff on, Ashley. Exactly, Stephen and Nicole. And uh, this is something that we all can get involved in. I was just thinking about this. This would be a great Christmas present for a family member to enter this raffle that they're doing to, yes, win a classic car. So I'll have more details about that in just a second. But we went to the San Diego Automotive Museum and wow, they are really struggling because they just haven't been able to have people in there much this year. Ticket sales are down a a half a million dollars just this year alone. So they're getting creative and they're raffling off a classic car. Take a look. This is it. One lucky person will be the winner of this beautiful 1968 Dodge Cornette. It's really been quite the roller coaster ride for the San Diego Automotive Museum since March. Listen to this. The museum first closed in the middle of March, opened back up in June, closed again in July, reopened in September, and now they are back to being closed. It's really hurt the morale of the staff, understandably so. Of the 12 employees, two were laid off and six have been furloughed already. And this is a nonprofit that relies heavily on volunteers. 60 volunteers are also not able to come in and share their love of cars during this time. As a not-for-profit, we rely heavily on our volunteers. And that's 60 people that look forward to coming here, working with the community, talking about cars that aren't coming in right now. You know, Because when we close, sometimes the staff can come in, we get some of the work done, but the volunteers aren't able to come in. Yeah, it's really sad. Uh, and back to the raffle with the car. Uh, so if you would like to enter, it is very easy to do so. So the tickets, one ticket to enter is $100. So far they've sold 200 tickets. So your odds are actually looking pretty good right now. They're going to pick the winner next Friday on a Facebook Live. So it's going to be very easy to do this. And how to enter, we're going to have all that information on our website, NBC7.com. Just click on this story. It's as simple as that. And you are helping out so many people in the process. We're now reporting live from Shelter Island to Ashley Matthews, NBC7.